We are starting X Men ninety seven episode one to me my X Men, um, which the premise is Cyclops races to find the source of new anti mutant technology. Okay. Um, it was it was good. I can appreciate that. How do I put this? It was the start of something, while at the same time we're walking into into the story in the middle, mm-hmm. because very early on it's revealed that Charles Xavier was assassinated by Guy Rick. And and this is off camera before the show even starts. So this is maybe like months later. Like how far how far along has it been? Yeah, so this is continuation of the of the show. And from the the original the show that originally was Saturday morning ninety ninety two to ninety five, ninety six. So this is one year later. Yeah. So, and the, so I, I watched, so I didn't watch like every episode back in the day, but when I was in college, I mean, it was, I did watch the show quite a bit. I think there were I think, maybe about 95, I think episodes total in the, in the, in the, in the original. And, uh, and so I was, you know, so familiar with, some of the story arcs and stuff, but uh, at the end of the series, uh, what happened was that Gyrick used a device on on Charles that magnified his telekinetic abilities, mm-hmm. and so Magneto had to. They since Magneto and Xavier are old friends, agrees to help him out. You know, use his magnetic power to keep the outburst from you know, hurting other people. Because I mean, at this point, Charles couldn't control it. And he was, you know, it was the powers were growing and stuff. And so, what ends up happening is um, a one of I think Charles is one he fell in love with from another planet. They enlisted her to come get him and to take him. They she's basically said that she, they have the technology and stuff that can can cure him from what Garrick had done to him and so charles goes off and and so that's that gets us set up to where we are now so i guess everyone just thinks he's presumed dead even though he does show up in the credits <laughs> so but he is presumed dead and that's why that's how the why the series started off the way that it did with x-men 97 right which yeah. i am i am familiar with too um, and I've mentioned this on the show before, but I am in no way watching this episode and recalling exactly what happened. Yeah, no, no, I had to, I, I will freely admit I had to go back and like, you know, I had to do some wiki and just remind me like what happened. Cause it, it was, been, it's been about 25 or so years but since I, since I watched this show. <laughs> even then I don't like, for me, I don't feel the need. Like I have to go back and watch it just because the enough was familiar enough was Mm -hmm. like, because I think, I think the bones are the relationships and it's like, there's clearly some moments between Wolverine and Jean Grey. There's, there's moments between Jean Grey, like all of the dynamics were there. And I know Rogue is in the background with Gambit Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's my ship. So, so that all, I, I can appreciate how, as you put it, like this is a continuation while at the same time for anybody who's new or it's been so long since they, they watched it can still walk in and there's enough that they nostalgically remember yeah. while at the same time, like, well, I don't really know what, I don't really like <clears throat> This is, it still feels like a new story at the same time. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so, and so I think they good, did a good job about with like balancing that continuation versus uh, while at the same time, just like clearly starting a new story to mm-hmm. tell these characters. Um, I, I do admit, I don't appreciate the choice of focusing on Cyclops. 
<laughs> See, <laughs> that was I, I, <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you know, he is sort of now the de facto leader of, of yeah. the group. So, and, 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 you know, like, and as you said, the relationships really are what sticks out to me with this series. Uh, and, and of course, Logan and, and Scott's, and, and also Gene, the, the whole love triangle, but also just the, the, the mutual love hate relationship that Scott and, and, and Wolverine have. Uh, was on the, on display in the, in this first episode, especially uh, as you know Scott was being Mister Mister Leader Guy, <laughs> and, yeah, and Boy and Scout. yeah, the Boy Scout. So you know, it's one of the, I've always I've always seen it's funny as far as characters. I've always liked Cyclops for whatever. Even like like when I was to play the the arcade game, I would like I would, you know everybody would be picking up Wolverine. I would always pick either Cyclops or Storm. So that you know that tracks. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that tracks. which i don't i don't know it's not like i like wolverine either or yeah. wanted it like 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 i said before my my people are gambit and rogue yeah. <laughs> okay yeah. those are my people <laughs> um which, they weren't featured that much so that's right. why i was a little like okay um th- there was also a lot of jubilee mm-hmm. in this episode yeah. and um i will admit I still don't really understand her powers. I, I really don't. Um, hopefully this season I will begin to. <laughs> yeah. I will say just, yeah, as far as the power set, I mean, it, things do seem a little cleaner. I don't want to say cleaner. I guess the, the capabilities, and I don't know if it's because they, I mean, even though they did stay true to most of the 90s animation and stuff, they did do some creative, like, choices. Of, of of allowing certain power sets to seem to be ma- you know manifest itself a, a yeah. little closer to the you know to what they should be, um, but yeah so you know so I, I did I did like that aspect of of the show and like I said as far as the aesthetic I mean it, it, I you know as soon as the remixed theme came on I was just like oh that's like a warm blanket of nostalgia <laughs> it was <laughs> it just I mean between the music. And the the art, mm-hmm. um, the the design of everything, it, it really did feel nostalgic, but current. Yeah, yeah. Like, it brought up to speed, um, but not losing what made it so memorable to begin with and so impactful to a yeah. lot of people mm-hmm. who watched it. Uh, so this, this Robert DaCosta, he's kind yeah. of like our are the the character that's used that's saved and then the x-men are explained and or Mm -hmm. revisited if you will and and so what 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 do you know about him so i don't know much about him other than i mean i think his i think his alias is sunspot and i think he if i recall he become he's one of the new mutants Okay. Um, and so, yeah, and like you said, I mean, this and this news in X Men ninety seven, he really is sort of playing the the role of the of the audience <laughs> as far as sort of like how Jubilee was back in the days so of sort of establishing everything, uh, even right. down even down to I couldn't help but think about whenever he whenever uh, whenever he first met Beast or and when he and we were reintroduced to Beast uh, how. The one thing that this, how, how the, the one scene in the Marvels stood out to me, like when we got the spoiler alert, if you haven't watched that film, uh, but when we were introduced to Beast, uh, then uh, in the in the lab when and Rambo saw him, and I did get kind of vibes, of feelings of that, and I think Jubilee was also uh, introduced to Beast that same way. So there are a lot of callbacks to like to the original uh, animated series, and 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 now you know future. Um, stories as well uh, with 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 the the show. So, well, Jubilee tells like the yeah. first episode, which yeah. which ironically, as she's explaining, I'm like, oh, she's recapping the first episode of this yeah. entire show. Yeah. I don't know why that's so memorable, but but it really is. And and despite all of that, we still don't really understand her. 
<laughs> yeah, but but it's she's just, like pyrotechnics yeah. jubilee <laughs> yeah yeah this is yeah just all the pyrotechnics yeah <laughs> yeah yeah um and so while scott and gene are dealing with their grief of um xavier's death we also um have gene gray being pregnant mm-hmm. in this in this so so that will be um a through line this season and I, you know, like I said, I, I watched it, but I don't really remember Morph. Um, I don't remember Morph either from back in the day. I don't, right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it right now. I don't know why they allowed him in this family. He is annoying and he's just morphing left and right. And I'm just like, dude, that party trick, you could play it one time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get it. That's what you do. But seriously, (laughs) man, it just it was it was not the best introduction of Morph um, for me, especially because we really he's posing as Charles when Mm -hmm. we're introduced. It's just like, dude, no, 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 no. too soon, too soon, (laughs) too soon soon, across the board. And the and it's funny because I, for whatever reason, the moment this scene started to happen, the very end, the last few minutes, I was like, in my brain, I'm like, oh, oh, we're getting that scene from the trailer now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the scene where Magneto um, is explaining to the X-Men that everything that Charles left behind is his, including the school, the house, the fortune, everything. So... Yeah. He's he so Scott thought he was in charge, but oh no no, it's actually gonna be Magneto. So yep. that's why it's called to me my X Men. Yeah, which yeah, and to me my X Men, and also yeah, apparently that was the the line of the um, in the very first uh, comic book. At the very the last panel, Charles says that to to the X Men, uh, to me my X Men, and it was. It, and the next step, yeah, so it was sort of like their version of Avengers Assemble. <laughs> and um, so that was where that's sort of where that, that came from, just to sort of bookend some things in X-Men lore. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah. But like I said, I I, I really enjoyed it, you know, because, again, I know we're, we're a little delayed in starting it. I know it's um, as as a recording, I think the uh, first episode of the three part finale aired this week mm-hmm. um and which also had i think the, the title of it has the um you know the callback uh, what is it totality is extinction or uh well, the line that um trask has in the in the prison is is, is in the is the, the titles of of these of these uh f- of the finales and stuff so again you know there's a lot of a lot of callbacks and and uh, you know i really appreciate some of the storylines you know they really get into the, the the whole you know for folks who aren't so familiar with the x-men as far as just the the, the two factions as far as humanity and the people who had an x gene and the prejudice and stuff i mean they really did do a great job of just helping to establish this world for you know longtime fans could just jump right back in but also folks who are who are new to the to new to this and, and new fans and new generations can can really get understand sort of the d- dynamics and you know and, and, and the underlying prejudices and and uh, hatreds that normies i guess have towards folks who have the x gene so yeah like i said i, I really enjoyed it and look forward to seeing more uh episodes as as the season progresses i've been having fomo seeing everybody reacting about it so i'm glad we're finally to it <laughs> right yeah, yeah definitely yeah um, no, I'm glad we we are we are watching it um, or to have started it, and we will see where it goes. I know there's one particular episode that I keep hearing things about. Um, yeah. So I want to get there before I get spoiled. So. Yeah, yeah. 